I am your host. Pause that. What's going on, phone? Oh my goodness. That's so weird. That was really crazy, guys. How are we all doing tonight? Yeah. I have to say, out of the gate, um, it's been a rough couple of months for me as a comedian. I was recently uh, canceled, so I'm back on the tour right now. Uh, they, they made me, uh, my manager made me go to a supermarket and sell cans. That's how bad it got. They were like, you are canceled. You need to go sell these cans at the supermarket or Costco, depending on the week. Um, but I fought through it. I fought through it. What's up, bud? This is the only pot comedy show where there's also a dog. Come on out here if you're watching this feed. There's still time. Um, if you can make it in the next hour and 30 minutes, there's time. If you come later than that, you could maybe get weed, but... Probably not. Probably not. Uh, all right, what's the craziest conspiracy we got out here? We all smoke weed. What's the... Uh, that the algae most? kills celebrities at 27. Mm. Whoa. That's, that's why the 27th. It's a fungus. <laughs> wow. I had to stop believing conspiracy theories <laughs> very recently. I was going down too many wormholes. And I realized, like... If all this stuff was true, why would they be giving it to us for free? <laughs> like, if I'm paying for it, it's probably the truth, because somebody's probably withholding it from me. But, like, if I just got it from somebody for free, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe people do give stuff away for free. If you just believe in the good of your heart. I was on Facebook recently. And I saw an ad to unclench my jaw. Yikes. It's like, how the fuck did you know that? <laughs> and what are you selling? Is it chewing gum? Because I don't like chewing gum. But you, you knew it. You knew that my jaw was clenched somehow. I don't know how. Um, sorry about this notebook. I, I smoke a lot of weed, so this is my, my memory <laughs> device. I don't have the whole joke right here, so I'm not reading it word for word. I'm just reading keywords, like new social media app, but I'm not going to do that joke, because we're not endorsing the deep state or anything like that, or whatever the social media is. Um, I recently got a Yeti water bottle. You guys have one of those? It's awesome, and it's very aptly named, because I could never find it. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I recently uh, got a job, I was uh, moving stone for somebody, and they had me like piling up the stones, and all of a sudden like, I realized that they were getting me to make a pyramid, and I was like, shit, did I just fall for a pyramid scheme? <laughs> like they have me making a pyramid over here, and then I, I climbed up the pyramid, and I was like, excuse me, boss, uh, what's in it for me? And they're just like, oh, like, whenever we finish this, it's gonna be, it's gonna be all yours. And I'm like, okay, cool, like, how many years? And they're like, a thousand. <laughs> like, all right, uh, I, I guess I'll, I guess I'll do this gig for a little bit, you know, it's a gig economy. Um, I don't know, once they had me getting my friends involved, it was a little... <laughs> A little different. Um, I, uh, I'm gonna give you guys some really new stuff. I wrote this 20, 27 seconds ago. No, I didn't write this 27 seconds ago. No, I was, I was trying to keep up with the news today, and I saw the, uh, the news, uh, not very positive news, but like, the U.S. military members who uh, drone striked civilians in Afghanistan aren't going to face uh, any charges for blowing up a Toyota Corolla of like innocent civilians. And like, I was reading that article, and I didn't understand why they needed to include the part about the Toyota Corolla. Like, was that a sponsored ad from Toyota? 
to say that like, oh, like you could you could ride this car. Or was it an ad from an opposing car company trying to poison the Toyota name? Like if you drive a Toyota, you're going to be a target of the drone strikes. I don't know. I might be thinking into it too much. I shouldn't really smoke weed while I'm writing jokes. Uh, I've been working at... <laughs> I, was, I was driving today and I saw some very interesting phrases on the back of a car. It said, defund media and defend the police. And I was like, what? What is, what, what is this? What is this back of your car supposed to be? Like, one, why are we defending the police? Aren't they, isn't that the other way around? What, what is this? What? And then the, the defund the media. What, what, what do you like to do? Do you just like to sit in your backyard and like stare at the grass? Like read, read an article. Get, get your TV out. Seriously. Um, where are we all coming from over here? Philly. Philly? Philly. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Philly loves the late night home comedy yeah. show. I don't, I don't know what it is about uh, Philadelphia. Maybe they have low standards? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it should be good. No, Philadelphia is the best city ever. Uh, in Pennsylvania, definitely. Top three in the Northeast, probably. Right? What would you say? Where would, where would it rank in the Northeast? Best, best city in the Northeast? Uh, yeah. yeah? The pride. The pride. The pride. <laughs> they have a gay neighborhood. There's pride. No, it's a good ass. It's a good ass city. Good vegan food too. You know, sometimes you can't find vegan food in places, but Philly, you can find it everywhere. We have a vegan comic coming up later. I'm, I'm just hyping him. He's not up next, but I'm, I'm, I'm just letting you guys know. He eats really clean, so you know he's gonna be funny. Your next comics who are coming to the stage are originators of the joint and also of the late night hump comedy. And also guests who have been here many times, who have become joint favorites. Give it up for uh, Vincent Brandon Ingram. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 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 how's it going? How's it going? So we're gonna do some improv for you guys. We don't know anything we're about to do. We've never done it before. This is all made up completely on the spot. You guys get a brand new, unique experience. Uh, I'm Vincent Capizzi. And I'm Brendan O'Brien. And thank you guys for being here tonight. So, uh, to start this uh, set off, can I just get from anyone in the room, what's something you want for Christmas more than anything else? Or whatever holiday you celebrate. Wow, you guys are so selfless. You want nothing for the holidays? What? A new TV. A new TV. Yeah, All right, TV. Right, right, right. TV. What's like the, the, like the worst Christmas experience you've ever had? Me? Yeah. Oh. What what's like a pet peeve? Like what's like some like what's like a bad thing that someone does at Christmas? Like a family buying member. Some bullshit gift. Buy some, some, yeah, yeah. you're gonna spend a thousand dollars. They buy you a pair of socks or a room. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. All right. And then uh, anywhere else in the room, uh, who is the who is the relative that you least look forward to seeing at holiday gatherings? <laughs> One relative. I know, I know. You want, uh, it's a lot of people, yeah? I, uh, yeah, I have a relative who has a big stomach and there's always crumbs on it. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like a tray. What's their relation to you? Not very close. Not very close. Okay, yeah. cool. Good. Okay, good. <laughs> so distant relative with crumbs on his belly. We got a new TV and we got some bullshit gift. Yeah. Yeah. Right, cool. <laughs> oh, you with your fucking umbrella again. Yeah, I mean, it's raining. I don't know why you like to get wet, Tim. Because you know what? You've got me an umbrella for the past five years, okay? Yeah, yeah, I have. And I and I expect you to use it. I'm wondering why this guy's always walking around wet, and that's why I keep giving you umbrellas. So, Matt, you don't like people who like to get wet? I mean, like, willingly? I mean, doesn't your phone get ruined? you got wet underwear going into the office? It's like, it's not great. To, you're always, you always smell weird, like, when we're at work, because you're moldy. Man, it's gross. Yeah, happy, happy Christmas to you too, man. I'm glad we can get together for the holidays. Yes, yeah, yeah, I mean, like, this is... We just finished up with the Christmas party. Yeah. I gave you another umbrella. It's literally in your hand. I and know. you're not using it out of spite. Yeah, I know. You're not... You just open it up. All right, you know what? 
I gotta tell you, it's because I'm superstitious. What do you think's gonna happen? You ever see someone open an umbrella and not get struck by lightning? Because I haven't. <laughs> yeah. That's Wait, what? what? Literally every person. I'm, I'm actually waiting for you to free Yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I'm expecting something. Yes. Literally every single person who's ever opened an umbrella in front of me has gotten struck by lightning. I well, good thing I opened it inside. I didn't open it out right. here. So that's I would be struck by lightning in that case. That's right? the key, yes. Okay, okay, yeah. good. Thank yeah. goodness. Yes. Good, you know, you're a really dangerous person. You know, yeah. I think you're fine. Oh, you're fired, you're fired. You smell weird and you strike me with lightning, you're fired. Alright, I'm done with you. Right. Man, the Empire State Building is gonna look great when we finish building it. I mean, this model is something special. Yeah. It's something amazing, Eric. Yeah. Oh my god. Our apartment's gonna look so cool. People are gonna be like, oh wow, you got a model. Uh, <laughs> uh, ro uh, Roger, uh, you didn't read the box. It says it's full to scale. Oh my god, no wonder. No, no wonder. It's like it's it's completely gone through the ceiling at this point. I, I just thought I just thought it was a little big. Uh, yeah, no, I know. Yeah. Uh, all right, I guess we'll, we'll just keep building then. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll, 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 we'll keep on keep on stacking it up. Um, uh, dude, dude, I, I think a piece just fell off. I think a whole huge piece just fell off. Okay, we, we can only critical of each other's work if we really want to. No, like, I think someone's gonna die. There, there's a huge, giant piece of this model that we're building. It's, it's off. It's gone. All right, but, like, it, to be fair, isn't it more their fault they didn't get out of the way, you know? Like, in New York, you gotta be sad. You gotta be able to dodge yeah, coming at you at an angle, right? Yeah, you know what? That's right. That's right. You know, like, hey, fuck you! Yeah, fuck yeah, you! Yeah, fuck you! Yeah. Watch where you're going! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah let's keep building this thing. Yeah, something about being thing. next to the Empire State Building like this makes me feel powerful, it Makes you know? me feel strong! Yeah! 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 yeah. Let's build... Every building that's ever been in New York City before. Oh my god, we'll, we'll destroy everything that's here and we'll rebuild it all! Yes, let's all let's knock it all down. Let's knock it all down! Uh, 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 it's, uh, it's a good thing we're so big! Uh, oh, it's a good thing we're giant! Ah, fuck you! Yeah! Oh, oh there's a helicopter coming this way! Oh, 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 Very irresponsible things on their phone. I, I just wanted to call my my, my grandkids. Yeah, they don't want to talk to you. <laughs> of course, of yeah. course. They they, actually, they set up a special plan that actually blocks your number from calling them. It's, oh. a, it's the anti-old uh, package. They told me it was the grandpa plan. Yeah, yeah, that, that's like the street term for the, it, the grandpa they, plan. They said that I would be able to call them unlimited. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I don't know what you, what you think you're going to do. Uh, I just want to talk to my grandkids. Alright, well, actually I have one in the back. You want me to get them for you? Oh, wow. Alright, okay, hold on. Really? Yeah, hit, 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 hit. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Hi, Grandpa. Hi. Oh, give, give me a hug and a kiss. Uh, I guess you couldn't uh, take a hint, huh? Well, I knew you weren't here, and I just I wanted to see what was wrong with my phone. Grandpa, I was about the phone, okay? Did you really make me think about like what in your life caused you to want to, I don't know, would make your grandkids not want to talk to you? Was it the women? It was the women. It was the women? Yeah, Grandpa, you flaunted them all. Too many, too many too, women? Grandpa, last year I passed over, you brought over three. Well, I mean, Grandma's dead. I gotta live my life. 
Stuff's a little better. <laughs> I, I'm a young man. I've got to learn this monster. <laughs> oh. Oh, you brought the belly. Uh, what was I going to do with it? You know, the, this whole pregnancy thing, I was hoping it would have like, run its course by now, but... It's been eight months. It's almost run its course. Uh, yeah, I, I know. I'm just, I'm just getting really impatient with it, you know? Well, what do you want me to do? Pop it out? I can't... What, what are you asking? I, I'm asking you to pop it out, yeah. Kyle, I have to carry the baby to term. Otherwise, it's going to have issues. Okay, look, as your basketball coach, uh, I I just have to let you know that like a lot of the girls are really uncomfortable playing with you with that I, there. They can't ostracize me from high school. It's back. a Catholic high school. It's, they can, like, you, you can't. I kept the baby. That's very Catholic. Yeah, but that, the other thing about Catholics is that like, they're impatient, too. They, they appreciate the gesture of keeping the baby alive. They don't appreciate that you're taking so long to get on with it. Well, I'm taking the exact amount of time it requires to have a baby. <laughs> Listen, I, I didn't want to have to do this, but... Don't, 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 you, don't you throw the ball at my belly. Oh, come on. Like, what, are you, what kind of person do you think I am? I was going to take this ball pump and pump it. Pump it up until it came out. You think that'll, you think that'll work? Yeah, I, I got. I, I took a health ed here at this Catholic high school. Of course, it would work. All right, you're the you're the health teacher. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Okay. okay. All right, let's go. One. Oh wow, it works. Thanks. All right, I guess I'll uh, I'll take care of this and I'll come back to gym. Yeah. yeah, yeah okay, I'll, right. I'll see you next period. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. 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 So, um, I, I think that our kids are going to get along just fine, alright? They're getting along just fine. I hope so. It's my first time doing the whole arranged marriage thing, you know, so... Well, you know, just think of it like a partnership between our families, okay? Yeah. You know, I'm not really worried about the kids so much, you know, I mean, like, my son is horny, your daughter is horny, it's, like, it's a match made in heaven. Yes, they're both very horny children. Yes. What else is new? Really what I'm concerned with is um, our relationship as the fathers to be. Well, we've already agreed on, you know, the contract, how much money we're going to give each other in exchange for our horny children. Yes, yes. Mm. I would like to renegotiate the dowry, however. Ah, uh, well, we've already signed the contract. You can't net on the deal at this point. Oh, no, I can't? Mm, no, no, no. Well, We're going to be married tomorrow, are you kidding me? Well, I'll have you know that I actually worked in a piece of the contract that actually institute a reneg clause that actually allows for the reneging of the non-reneging. Ah, uh, hmm, let me see, let me see here. Ah, well, good thing I put in another subclause to renege on the reneging of your reneging. Damn you, you bastard! Bar, I will not be duped out of my daughter's dowry. Alright, fine. I'm okay with that. All right. I just want us to be cool with each okay, other. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. I just want to be cool with you. Okay. Right, good. Okay. <clears throat> good. Your move. <laughs> your move. It's your move. All right. To oh. oh, oh, oh. Wow, you got another one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why you got another one? Go, go get that other. Go kill that other guy. Hold on, look, look, there's another challenger coming to fight you. You're the world's greatest duelist. Okay. Your move! Oh, 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 God, oh, it's so boring. Oh, over oh my boy. God, you're just stabbing people oh, everywhere. You're killing all of them. Wow, I'm going to be your trainer. You're going to be... You're, you're already so great. I don't need to be trained. I'm already great. You're the okay. great. You're, you're just so nonchalant. Oh, God. Oh, it's just like so <laughs> easy. I like, Look at that. See that guy? He's 800 yards away. Watch. <laughs> Oh my god, you killed another one. I you know. killed another one. I you're know. just amazing. You're <sighs> whoa, whoa. You just sucked it right back, yo. I wish I could be as cool as you. Look, yeah, you know, honestly, I just wish that there was a challenger who could actually like put up a fight with me, you know? Yeah. yeah. I mean, if only if only there was someone as cool, strong, as talented as you. What about you? <sighs> no. No, me? No, no. Okay, fine. Let's go. Your move! <laughs> I don't have a sword anymore. Yeah. Oh. 
Whoa! Whoa! How? What? I ate. I ate all of it. You ate all of that sushi? Yeah. At Penn Station? At Penn Station. Oh my god. Yeah. Are you okay, dude? You okay? No, I'm dead already, actually. Oh my god, that means I'm dead! Yeah, no, I know. We, we, we're not together. We're both dead now. <laughs> you told me. You said this sushi restaurant has four and a half stars. It, it does! <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing! We all died of food poisoning! Apparently it wasn't four and a half stars! I mean, I don't think, you, like, the quality of the food was four and a half stars, though, despite the result of us being dead, no? Dude, it was mediocre at best. Like, it was not good sushi, and now we're dead. Can you make sushi? No, I can't make sushi. Okay, okay. so then who are you? So where are you with the authority on all things sushi? I've been sushi, like, a hundred times in my life, and I've never died until now, so... I would put this at at least a two star. You know, I gotta say, I thought like the whole like you being killed and turned into a ghost and then like, being in the afterlife would like make you a little more humble, but I don't think it has. You you think that you have the novelty opinion about everything. You always have. Well, I mean, come on, come on, come on. You gotta give me a little break here. I might think I know a lot about movies, TV, music, whatever, right? But I know that something is bad if it literally kills me. Bro, we went to the Vatican, uh, if you remember correctly, yeah, I I remember. Remember. and you said, fuck the Pope, what does he know about God, ain't no one like me but me, that's verbatim what you said. <laughs> yeah, that is verbatim what I said, and, and, and I stand by those words today. It's the Pope! Ain't no one about God but me. Yeah. No one, no one, I, I have the direct tap to God. Yeah, well, we'll, well we both have the direct tap to God now, well, now I, we're waiting to go inside to, to speak with him. Well, and, I know, I wish I could... Cut to the front of the line. I mean, I don't really think you've been listening to me lately. Look, do you, yo, do you think you're going to heaven straight up yes or no? Straight up? Yeah. I mean, yeah, I might be. I, I'd say if I was anything, I'm an asshole. No. But I'm not like a bad person. Right, right. You're a good ass. You're one of those good ass. Good asshole. You're one of those assholes that's just like, it just. Just, just, yeah, you know, one of those clean assholes. Yeah, you yeah. know, that doesn't. It doesn't act up a lot. Right. Uh, I am worried that I'm not going to get in. So that's why I was asking you. Cause... What have you done? Um, you... Well, besides the robbery. Right, right. Besides. And the murder. murder. And murder. Yeah. But they were, like, self-defense? Yeah. <laughs> you see that screen over there? Yeah, I see that screen right over there. That's right. Mm. You see what's playing on that screen over it's there? A, it's a 1963 production of Dracula. That's right. And you know who's not playing the role of Dracula right now? Me! <laughs> you! You no. are not playing the role of Dracula. Ah. Right That's right. Oh. Ah, I was so scary. You know, playing Dracula <laughs> runs in our family. I don't know if you know, we, we have a long line of Dracula <laughs> that go back Five generations. That's why I've been living this role every day of my life. Yeah, and, and yet somehow you're still not up there playing Dracula on the TV screen right now. No, I don't know why. I, 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 I'm too good looking. That's the problem. No, actually, Dracula has always been considered a bit, a bit of like a sex uh, icon. Oh, so. yes. That's me. I'm sexy, yes. But come on. We can be there. You and me. Oh, I play, Dad, I, I play Dracula already. I, I'm not the disappointment that you are. Dad, I am a disappointment. All I want to do is to love me, and my, my role is Dracula. Yeah, what's well, the problem? Dracula's cold. Dracula's vicious. Dracula is evil. I could never be like you, Dad. I could never. I just want to act. <laughs> sure you can, son. <laughs> Try now. <laughs> I want to suck your blood. I don't believe you! Ah, I want to suck your blood. I don't believe you! Oh, God, please. <laughs> like Michael Jackson. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Just like Michael Just Jackson. Just like Michael Jackson. <laughs> That's what you're always saying. <laughs> Just like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Hit me harder. Just, Just like, like Michael Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> don't touch that. Just, Just like, like Michael Jackson. Jackson. Tur turn around. Just, Just like, like Michael Jackson. Jackson. <laughs> Dance way better than you. Just, Just like, like Michael Jackson. Jackson. Get lit on fire while drinking Pepsi. Just, Just like, like Michael Jackson. Jackson. It works for every scenario. There's too many things that that man has done. Yeah. What, what has he not done, really? Uh, a, a woman? Maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're looking pretty good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on right down here. Oh, I see you here. Mm, yeah, yeah. 
I told you never to come to my bar again. You, you know, I thought that if I brought a peace offer, it might change the way you feel about what happened. Just because you brought a wrap salami does not mean you can walk into my establishment. No, no Tito, do you not love wrap salami? I do love wrap salami, but I don't like you. You stole my girl, you took my horse, and you set my bar on fire. <laughs> and, and, and I'm sorry for, for, for cheating on your, you and your wife. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so just to just make this all clear, yeah. I stole your girl. You also cheated on me with my own wife. It's a long standing feud. <laughs> right. That is the problem, you see, because we had a separate relationship, you know, like, even though we're, we're best, best friends, we're best friends, best friends, best friends, best friends, best friends, best friends of, of all time, you would yes. probably say, right? Yeah. I would say so. And the problem is, that's my wife. You know? It is. It was. It was. It was. No more. No more. She's gone, no. yeah. No. She left. Yeah, and your girlfriend? She left too. Left, she left too. So that's the problem. It's like when shit like this happens, it's like then who's left to deal with it? To clean up the mess. I'll take this one out. All right, I thought you would. <laughs> I'll take that salami. That one right there. A person? <laughs> Excuse me. I'd like uh, uh, a half a pound of salami. I want six, uh, six, six. Uh, Super thinly sliced pieces of prosciutto. I want a, I want a little mozzarella uh, behind that counter, and, um, and, and 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 I want you. Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, Miss Della Close, you come in here every single Monday. You do the exact. You have the exact same order. I know. I know. I know. And I always throw the tip in at the end. Yes. I don't. Do that. That's you. Yes. Yes. You're, you're a cute. You're a cute. You're a cute. Thanks. Thanks. But. It does make me a little uncomfortable, I will say. That's okay. <laughs> my, I won't tell my husband. Oh, we ain't got it. I was really worried about what your husband would say. No, I won't tell him. Yeah. Are you going to get me the... Yeah, the, I'll, 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 I'll get you the yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So, um... Do you do anything Saturday? Uh, uh, yeah, I work, I'm working here again, you know, so... Oh, yeah. It's a holiday season, you know, yeah, so... Yeah, all right. Christmas. How do you do the family? Yeah, sorry, I'm just going to... All right, I'm, I'm gonna slice your meat over here now, so please do it slow. Oh. <laughs> oh, all right. Um, yeah. Um, so are your are your kids coming into town? Oh yeah, they're coming to town. Okay. Yeah, just like Santa. Yeah. Christmas is coming. Yeah. yeah, yeah. For me. Yeah. Okay. You, uh, gonna, you gonna be out of the tree? Well, I get the tree. You get my tree. Uh, depends that's on how much fair. I drink. Uh, is that a good size that's for you? Good. That's very thin. That's very thin. All right. Do it slow. <laughs> I'll just put you out of your misery. All right. Thank God. You know we're done. We're done with. We're done with this life. All right. You know we're just resigning. Yeah. yeah. So I got this pistol, and uh, it's on the table. You know I got two bullets. You know, we had a good run as, as uh, Santa's reindeer. Yeah. Yeah, 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 we had a good run. We had a good run. We were, you know, Donner and Dasher were in the beginning for a hot minute, and then that fucking Rudolph, yeah, you know, yeah. like, I'm done. I'm done with this. We're resigning from life. Yeah, no, no, this is it. This is it. If they, you know, if, if, if they can't at, you know, they can't, if they can't give it to our demands of keeping out a reindeer that we don't like, that we don't want to be around right. anymore, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they don't kick out yeah. Rudolph, then there's just gonna be two less reindeer. Right. Uh, you go first. You you, you blow your brain that first. So I kill myself and then you kill yourself. Uh, yeah, you kill yourself and then we'll I'll see how I feel afterwards. I don't know, man. Man, why don't you why don't why don't you kill me and then you kill you? It's a lot of responsibility to put on my shoulders. I, 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 why don't we flip a coin? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't want my wallet. Yeah. We don't have pockets for no. reindeer. Reindeer. Yeah. Right. Right. Reindeer. Right. Fur. Fur. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, I'm thinking of a number one through ten. Um, Six. Wait, hold on, I'm not thinking of it yet. Now I'm thinking of it. Five. All right, it was five. Oh, good. Okay, good, good. All right, all right so kill me. Okay. Kill me. Shoot me right in the face. Okay. Um. Hey, uh, hey, Blitzen. Yeah. Um. Uh. <laughs> We interrupt this broadcast to let you know that this is an improv show where right now two reindeer are about to kill each other. Thank you for tuning again. Uh, uh, Blinton, um, just do it quick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>
That's really weird of you to say that. <laughs> hey, catch. Whoa. Oh, great, man. You didn't say catch. <laughs> it exploded all over my hand. I thought you were faster than that. That was like, my last egg. You're like the fastest kid in school. I thought you were going to catch that for certain. Wait, I'm the fastest kid in school? Yeah. So you thought I could catch well? Yeah. Hell yeah. You're so, like, dude, you're, like, all over this. All over. Wait. Yeah. Wait a minute. Hold on. You're not a real jock. You're just wearing a letterman jacket. Oh, uh, oh, oh! Uh, I'm actually in the band. Oh, damn. What? Oh, I thought it was out there by itself. All right. So, uh, so, so we got to, we got to open up six chain restaurants to make to make rent. Uh huh. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Because, right. you know, it's the future, and inflation is crazy, so now we have to own 40 some odd businesses to, to that house. All right, so on the count of three, we say all the fast food chains that each one of us individually want. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay, six, okay. right, that we're doing? Six, 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 okay. six, six. All right, on okay, the count okay, of three, ready, okay. go. Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. Uh, uh, McDonald's. Burger King. Wendy's. Jack, Jack in the Box. box. Greatest tri-state franchise owner, owners. Yeah. We're gonna own. We're gonna sell people so many burgers. I'm so excited. Well, not a Taco Bell. What? No, not a Taco Bell. No, we're bringing burgers to Taco Bell. We're changing things. I'm up. sorry. What? We're changing things up. We're taking the game and we're flipping it right on its head. I, I, we're gonna have tacos. Have Burger King. No, that's ridiculous. No, dude, that's the future. <laughs> okay, I, I, I think we may have overset some boundaries. I, I think we made it. This might be a little bit too much power for us to be cross breeding all these different kind of fast food chains. I, 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 I don't know if we can handle this. I don't think there is such thing as too much power when it comes to fast food. Okay, calm down there. I can. I am the Burger You're the King. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am the Burger King, and I am the Burger Queen. But no one talks about me. Why? Yeah, I don't know. Ah, that's my burger queen. Yeah, you, you know what they call me actually? They call me the Whopper. Ah! <laughs> we, we, we have fun here in the Burger King castle. We have a, we have a great time. Uh, uh, so my first decree as Burger King is no more mayo on your fries. No with that shit. Stop that. Stop that. Now, I'm done. Second decree? No more buns on your burgers because yeah. I'm on a gluten-free diet. Yeah, yeah. Fuck food. That's what, that's what we always say in the Burger King household. Yes, yes. And here comes our burger dog. Yeah, this is the burger dog. The burger dog's first decree is that there will be, there will be dog edible treats at every uh, Burger King. Yes. Burger King, I don't know if you realize this, but the, the burger dog is actually third in line to the, to the, the crown that you hold. Right, right. The burger, the burger dog is uh, the it has had assassination attempts on his doggy life several times mm -hmm. in, yes. uh, in the last year. Yes, but he is portable. He is yes, portable. He's portable. Yes. He's killed all of the would-be assassins. Yes, uh, as have I. Yes, you're both wonderful. Would you like to uh, have our ceremonial drink of fizz soda? Of course, Burger Queen. Of course, Clink. Oh, oh, oh! You poisoned me, you bitch. That's right, I did. No. I poisoned you. Now, wait, wait, go behind you with the crown on me. No, I'm good. Thank you. All right. Fuck you. Now I am the rightful heir of the burger crown, and I will celebrate with this french fry. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. All hail the queen of Essex. Yes, yes, you, all Richard. hail, all hail, all hail, jeez, jeez, wow, tough crowd, sorry, sorry, your majesty, sorry. It's all right, it's not your fault, really. I tried better, uh, I'll try better tomorrow, I mean, like, it's been a rough week in the castle. I would like to take your head off. <sighs> okay, if you have to. 
Oh, come on now! I, I, that was just a joke, a little rip between no, us! No, I'm, I'm so tired of this job. I'm always making, like, I'm always cleaning up your messes. Oh, I'm cleaning up your messes. Oh, but you love this job. In fact, how about I give you this nice gift card to Starbucks in order for oh. you to keep your mouth shut and keep on working? Well, okay, I've got a gift card to Starbucks and I can buy, like, one drink with $20. That's sick. Thank you. <laughs> Are you not grateful? No, I'm. I know. I'm thrilled. This, I. This is great. Does thou have a problem with the gifts that I put upon your hand? Can I get like fifteen an hour instead of like a gift card? My God, this country's not made of money, you peasant. But you make like a lot more than fifteen an hour. How do you know how much I make? Uh, Forbes. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. I know, whoa. I, I thought we, we, we thought it was over. I thought it was over. I still haven't killed you yet. I know, I know. It's gone on too long. It's too long. Just pull the trigger! Pull the trigger! I'm done with it! I can, okay? You know the last time I held a, a shotgun in my hand? I'm the one that blew Rudolph's nose off. That's why he had to get the, robot, oh, the robotic surgery in order to get the, the, his nose turned right, okay? It was me! It was you? It was me! You started this mess? Yeah. And the thing is, I'm not really afraid I'm going to kill you, I'm afraid I'm going to try to kill you and then miss, and then you're going to get even more exceptional than you already are! Do you really think of that great? I think, I think you're a pretty, a pretty good person here, yeah. Okay, let's not kill ourselves. Oh, oh man. Okay. Thank you! Thank we are in Project Nations! This is Late Night Hump! Woo! <laughs> Give it up for Vince and Brandy, everybody! That was completely made up. Wow, never before rehearsed in that way. And never to be seen again. You saw something that will never ever be seen ever again. But maybe you could get an NFT of this performance oh, no. at our website. <laughs> and for 10 Ether, you can <laughs> have your own copy on the blockchain. <laughs> your next comic coming to the stage is a New Jersey legend. Give it up for Ty Rainey. These two gentlemen with the improv, Vincent and Brendan. Brendan, man. Give it up for these guys, man. That's, that's commitment, man. That's some serious shit. I know the brothers was like, the fuck is this shit? Yeah. They walked in, they sat down, they were like, yo. Ah, <laughs> oh, that was good, though, man. Shit. Oh. That's how about my day at work feel like a whole fucking day of improv. Just making <laughs> shit the fuck up. Just trying to get to five o'clock, baby. That's all I'm fucking I'm fucking do. Get off me with these goddamn questions. Yeah, I don't know. What, what you want? That ain't even what I do here. That's stop asking. Me. Oh man, so this is the last hump of the year right here? Alright, cool, man. Good, man. It's always nice to come and um, you know, smoke out and just chill out. Nice little spot to Smoke, cause smoke has changed, man. You know, you know I like the smoke. You know I'm, I'm a true smoker. Like you have a smoke and go to the refrigerator, get something to drink, pour yourself up something to drink, put the cup in the refrigerator, walk back to the couch with the whole pitcher. <laughs> <laughs> and you ain't stopping till you about to sit down on the couch and watching something. You like, oh shit, this the whole fucking thing. Like, yeah, you walk back to the fridge like, damn, where my cup at? You open the fridge, oh shit, my cup in the fridge. I'm hot. Yeah. I done shit like that, man. That's that high shit. <laughs> You ever done some shit like hit the hit the power strip and everything's connected to it? It's like, oh shit, <laughs> damn, everything went out. Xbox, clocks, everything. Everybody mad, TV going out. Like, I meant to just put something in there. <laughs> you know, one time I was high, I got stuck. I was at home. I was still living at home. I was like 19. I got high and I had dropped something. I dropped my cologne behind my dresser, and I had this old school heavy ass furniture, not no IKEA shit. You know what I mean? That old school stuff that take like two or three uncles to move. You know what I mean? So I had tried to wedge myself in there to get the cologne. I ended up being stuck behind the dresser and the freaking wall 
for an hour and a half until my grandmother came up the stairs and wondered what the fuck I was yelling for. I was high as hell, stuck between the dresser. The dresser was so heavy, the shit leaned on me, brother. I couldn't move no more. I was pressed on the wall like this, man. I felt like an ant. That's some high shit to do. I was high as hell. She was like, what are you doing, baby? She had to rock the shit off me. I was out. I was fucked up for a second, man. Oh, man. This is a nice little safe haven. You know what I'm saying? Just a great little place to come and just try jokes out. Jay Freeze, I like your combo of uh, sweater and look like somebody created your outfit like on a skateboard uh, game <laughs> or something. <That's> <laughs> You're a creative player guy. Uh, I'm happy to be out the house. I'm married. My wife don't even know I'm here, man. She thinks I'm taking out the garbage. <laughs> I took the garbage out with right outside. She was like, why you got your car keys? Oh, I got garbage in the car, too. <laughs> Drove the bug out of here. Shit. Damn. Shit. You ever smoke weed and this weird shit start happening to you? <laughs> you know what I mean? And sometimes you keep that shit to yourself. You just sit real quiet, breathe shallow, and try to self-diagnose. You're trying to fill your chest lightly like this. Don't say nothing to nobody. Call somebody like, yo, man, let me ask you a question. You ever smoke weed like your hand get real tingly? <laughs> you like, you like, yeah, my hand got tingly. Which one? The left? I think. I. What you do? That's some shit you do, right? Self diagnose? I don't go to no WebMD or none of that shit. I self-diagnose staring in the mirror for a half hour. I'll be waiting for my eye to jump. I'm like, I'm all right. I'm all right. I'm breathing good. Take your shirt off. Put all the lights on. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> now we going to the doctor for the checkup, though. Got to get that checkup. The checkup's important, man. You know, people are uncomfortable with the doctor. You got to get a comfortable doctor or get comfortable with your doctor. I'm just a weird, uncomfortable dude. Like, I'm the type of person that goes into, like, first of all, I hate waiting all the time. You know, setting an appointment, just waiting. Because I just stare at people. I'm a people person. I like to stare and watch people. But now we got all these masks and shit on. I'm just sitting in the waiting room. I don't touch the magazines no more. My phone be about to die. I'll be mad. You know, I know I got this copay to pay them motherfuckers. I hope they forget. Just slide out. But they never forget. They never forget. <laughs> But then when you go in there, like, I have problems. I don't sit down right away, because I hate sitting on that paper, because I don't sit still. That shit make a lot of noise. Because I know when the nurse lets me in there, she'd be like, what the fuck is he doing? Because I'll be squirming around on the paper and shit, because that shit be, it be crinkling. You be, you can't get comfortable. You don't know what you should be doing, because you're getting the checkup. You're like, should I take my shirt off? Should I get naked for this thing? Or should I sit in the chair? You don't know what to do. I mean, you just wait, and then he's like, all right, you're getting the full checkup and everything. And he's telling you to get naked, and that's the that's the uncomfortable as shit. Dudes know when you get checked, that shit's uncomfortable as fuck. You can't look nobody in the eye. He's trying to talk to you about sports and shit. You got a tile on the ceiling. You're checking for hernia and stuff. He's like, all right, call. <coughs> call me in. <coughs> all right, you're good. Good. Like, you know, trying to rush out there. He's like, hold up, let me check your lungs. Like, hey, you ain't gonna check them shit first, motherfucker. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Ate that shit. Oh man. But smoking weed is fun. <coughs> smoking marijuana. You got a little bowl right there, huh? A little glass joint. That's cool. I got one of those at home. Yeah, them shits it off. Shit's a pain in the ass sometimes though, man. Them shits. I remember one time I was smoking one of those, man. My grandmother saw me smoking one of those. She smoked, started smoking fucking crack. She was like, not my baby on dope, ah! She was scared, oh, scared the shit out of me. I was like, no, it's weed. <laughs> Black grandmother, the dramatic as shit. She's like, my baby on dope. She called weed dope. I was like, no, it's just weed. I never thought you'd do dope. <laughs> You make it sound so dirty. He's doing dope. I saw him smoking it. Oh, man. All right.
Y'all out? Y'all out. Yeah, All right, man. Hey, man, thanks for stopping through, man. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. It was definitely a All right. That's what's up. <laughs> Yeah, you about to cut my ass when I leave. No, man, I want to get a game of spades, get two more motherfuckers on the table, and let y'all stay a little longer, man. That's what you. That's what lock people in, a game of spades. You start spades, you can't leave. See, now they can't, see, now they can't leave. Oh, you got to go through, yeah, you got to go through that way. You might as well stay. You might as well roll up the game. You might as well roll up the game, Oh, we made me all do, man. We all do. Nobody is. Oh, oh, you about to open the gate, man. All right, buddy. Thanks for coming, man. All right. Dang, man. Everybody walking out, please. Okay. This place is lit. This is a lot of activity. Man. You guys are very disciplined in what you do, man. That shit is good. How long you guys been doing it? Long time. Long time? Seven years. Dang. Yeah, you guys are committed to that. You guys I mean, focus. So you you were the you were the because I, I I grew up in Montclair, public system and everything and drama club and everything. Where are you from? Uh, Total of the Falls. Total of the Falls. So all right, cool. Yeah, that area. So I grew up with a lot of people in the drama club. A lot of my friends are actors and things, and they were the ones like you were the guys singing out in the lunchrooms and shit like that, <laughs> making. Oh, Fuck. my friends was fucking annoying. Some of my friends were fucking annoying. We used to cut them up. Like, it was my coolest friends, but they were so, like, actor to actor, just acting, singing and shit. Everything was a fucking musical, cheesesteaks and shit. They singing. Oh, man. You guys do that shit, sing about dinners and stuff coming up? Uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Mm, one time I auditioned for a musical and didn't realize it was a musical. I thought I was auditioning for a play. I read it in the paper. It was local. It was at the Playhouse in uh, Montclair. And um, I went over there and I noticed everybody had all these folders and shit and they looked all professional. It was ready. It was a lot of white guys like you. Know, like, like, I was the only black dude in there. And um, I came in there and I just kind of signed a list as I walked in the door. And um, that was the list, that was like the order they were picking people to come in and whatever. And, um, you know, shuffling around, social, talking to people. And one of the directors come over and is like, you ready to go? And I'm like, what? He's like, you ready? You got your music, whatever? Trying to catalog your music. I was like, I don't have any music, I'm not a singer. And he's like, oh, well, this is a musical. I was like, oh, I'm at the wrong place. Then. He's like, oh, why don't you stay anyway and do it? I was like, nah, I'm good. I can't sing. He's like, come on, I, I can sing. You can sing. <laughs> and a little bit, I thought that was racist because I was like, just because I'm black, I think I can fucking sing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I thought that on the low. You know what I mean? Like, I was sitting on the couch. There was a lot of pressure. Everybody was looking at me. They had the sheet music and shit out. There was rehearsing in the corners. And it seemed like everybody was looking. He's like, if I can sing, you can sing. I was like, all right. <laughs> so, so he was like, all right, we'll get it together. That's all you're going to say, whatever, right? I was like, all right, cool, man. So a couple minutes went by. I'm still talking to people in my head. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing, right? I was like, I want to just run out of here. So I'm about to get up off the couch and leave. Like, yeah, I'm about to fucking leave. What am I doing? As I get up off the couch, she's like, tirade. I'm like, oh, shit. And he's like, come on in. I'm like, ah. Walk into the room. It's like a little theater. Got three people sitting in seats. Got a dude over here playing the piano. They got me up on stage. And the guy is like, all right, so what you going to sing? Like this guy's voice from the back is just yelling, what you going to sing? And I'm like, I don't know. I don't have a song. I'm not a singer. He's like, well, why don't you just sing happy birthday? That's simple enough, right? Right? So I start to sing happy birthday, and I don't know that happy birthday starts with the happy. And then the piano comes in. So I'm waiting for the piano first. And I'm late on the happy. I'm all on the H, and the piano guy is waiting for me to drop the happy. So I'm like, ha. Ah. It's like this. 
looking at me. I'm looking at him like, help, motherfucker, drop that shit. Like, bro, like, you know, like, happy birthday. And then he starts saying, and it's just like dragging along. Like, it's, it's the horrible. And then as I get into it, a fucking train comes by because it's right next to a train track and it drowns me out. And they say, stop. And I had to stop and wait for this long fucking train to go by. And I stood there on stage like this and I stared at the piano man like, and he just looked at me like, <laughs> and everybody out there was talking to each other. And then when the train stopped, it was like, okay, start again. I was like, again? I was like, damn. And I had to do the same shit again. Couldn't wait for him to do that. The, he didn't drop it either. And I was still doing that. Ha, and I was waiting for him. And then he just dropped the shit and threw me off again. I started singing that shit loud and flat. And by, guy, by the time I got to two of you, the guy said, okay, thank you. And... I ran out the fucking theater. I did not say goodbye to nobody. I got in my car. My car had a broken muffler. You could hear my shit as I was leaving. It was the most embarrassing shit I've ever done. And I never, I I don't know why. I did, I did it because it was a challenge. Like, I'm the type of comedian that goes to poetry readings and just crash the shit and just start doing jokes. Like, I don't even care. And then, like, look at me like, are you going to do some poetry? I'm like, no. <laughs> Tell you what my son does. <laughs> oh, hey. Does anybody have regular jobs? Anybody? You know? Yeah? You morning people? I'm a morning person. I'm a person I like to say good morning to people. Like, I, like, I'm, I like good mornings. You know what I mean? Like, I like that reciprocated. You know, I think that's important. You know, when I go to work, like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an IT guy, so I, I take care of people's computer accounts. And, uh, I'm petty. So sometimes when I don't get a good morning, you don't get to prank that thing. <laughs> Some other wild shit might happen to you that I can't explain. <laughs> but I do that to people all the time. One time Brenda came in and didn't say good morning. I just laughed. Just laughed. I was like, guess who can't prank today? <laughs> Brenda can't prank today. <laughs> She's the only one in the company that can't fucking friend. This is before the pandemic. It was the funniest shit ever. She kept coming over to me. She's like, I can't print. Everybody can print. I can't. Let's go. I was like, I don't know what's happening. I go to her computer, act like I'm fixing it. Take the computer out. I take the printer off, put the printer back on. Try again. She's like, nothing. See? I was like, yeah, this is strange. <laughs> I think the best word ever is escalate. Because really, you know, you can hide behind that word escalate. It's like we have to escalate this. Like no one really knows what that word means. Like yeah, somebody else is coming, but escalate is such a great like you know stall. You know the word like oh I'm gonna have to escalate this. <laughs> give me, give me time. A whole week went by. I watched her ask other people print for her. It was the most satisfying thing to my soul. It's dark though, isn't it? It's got kind of fucked up. It's a little bit about the power. I like the power. I like to like the power. Is that a real heater? Is that a real? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Careful back there. All right. Your hair light up like Michael Jackson. These guys. That shit. That shit was funny. That's just. That's crazy. That reminds me of me being an only child in front of my grandmother, it's just acting out a uh, thriller, the whole fucking movie. Uh, the, the, I'm sorry, the video in the living room, the whole movie. shit. Like a walking with the girl, they out to get <laughs> Sitting on the couch, just watching me, like, mm, look at your movie. <laughs> Put on some long sleeves, it's cold in here. Old people are always cold. I grew up with old people that were always fucking cold. They kept a sweater on the back of every goddamn chair. <laughs> it was always like 90 degrees in my house in the winter time. It was like you could raise a spider monkey in my house. It was that warm, it was like tropical weather. And they were older. And sometimes if you come in my room, or not in my room, but my house at the right time, if they've been rubbed down with like mineral ice or Ben Gay, it smells like fucking meth lab in our house. And you come in and pass out, your knees getting weak. 
shit. Oh, God, what's up with the door? What's up with the door? You, see, you see I jump, right? Like, what the fuck? I'm high. That just killed it. The high jumped out. That was it. That was my high jumping out of my knees. Like, I'm going. Open the door for the dog, please. That's what he's saying. Yeah, I heard what he's saying. Yeah. He, he said, don't make me act, ask twice. Yeah, open the door, motherfucker. Shit. That's the nicest, but, you know, most intimidating dog ever. You know, so, like, like, when you see him, you say nice things to him. Like, hey, somebody open the door for this dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thank you. Thank you. All right. Hey. What the fuck, man? <laughs> this is regular. Is it just me? This motherfucker, that dog is... Yo! That shit is a nice, intimidating dog. Like, we can pet him and shit. We're high. We think he's high and cool with us. Oh, he's the cool dog. He's the weed man dog. No, that motherfucker's a killer. <laughs> Bark, I'm like, what the fuck is that? I, I heard him barking outside, that's what we was at the door, I'm like, open this motherfucking door. <laughs> that dog is a person. <laughs> Shit, that dog is a damn person. He said, open the door, motherfucker. He barked at this one too. That's the dog I want to get. If I get a dog, I want a dog ready. Like a ready to go dog. You know what I mean? Like, I'll be like, what's his name? Oscar? Fuck it, I'll take it. You know what I mean? Like, if I get a puppy, I gotta start with puppy shit. You know what I mean? Puppy piss all over the place. I got two cats. And that would drive them nuts. You know, the puppy be chasing them. This dog probably wouldn't give a fuck about them two cats. He'd be like, man, where's my bowl at? That's my bowl. <laughs> barking at me. Bah, bah. Open the door. Let him go outside. Oh, he's like, why he barking like that? Because he wants to go outside. That means outside. Yeah. Wow. That's a great dog. Man. What was I going to talk about, Joe? Buying weed. Who used to buy weed like off the streets before the weed man? Is that the most thing? You guys used to cop weed off the street? Yeah. 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 Man, that shit was... I got busted once. You got busted? Yeah. You got busted? What happened? Uh, I made... So I was meeting up with a guy at a gas station to yeah. do a deal, and then he, he got in my car. He yeah. like, got in the past yeah. 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 drove around the block, got out of his girlfriend's house, then I came around the block, and then the Pulled me over and was like, oh, that's too much yeah. activity. Man. <laughs> yeah, that's some, that's some shit I would never agree to. I'm like, why well, the fuck you want to get in my car? No, I don't even get in my car. <laughs> I don't even want you to know I got a car. <laughs> yeah, I know they was doing that shit, man. Yeah, man. I, I thankfully. I've never been, I've never been, um, busted for, like, buying weed on the street. No, I never have. I've been pulled over with weed before. I've been pulled over on the street with weed before it was legal. And the cop just kind of talked me into dudding it out. He's like, come on, I don't have to do all this paperwork. That's what he said to me. He said this shit to me. I was in North New Jersey, yo. I was, like, smoking it like this. He's like, hey. Don't make me do all this paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> Serious as hell. I was like, you got that, y'all. Put the shit out of the there. I was like, walked away. I was like, ah. you know, this is wild. Oh, this is like 98. This is crazy. I was thankful for that shit. Man. My week was an adventure. We used to pack the car up, try to put our money together. You know, and it wasn't my car, it was my mom's car. Right, everything was in my mama's car. Buying weed, trying to have sex with girls and shit. Everything was in my mama's car. If she only knew the shit I was doing in her fucking car. <laughs> Buying weed was like an adventure. You know what I mean? You're going on these back, these back blocks, you got your car full of friends, everybody put in on it, you don't want to get a dub or whatever, or two dubs or whatever. Block you packed full of people selling weed. I don't know if you guys know about that. You guys are pretty young. No, you guys are young as hell. Oh, oh. I remember that. You remember that shit. <laughs> In the 90s, everybody was selling fucking weed. They run up to your car like a parade. You're like, I got the weed. They run it in. And they run it in your windows over there. Hey, 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 get this shit. Hey, get this shit. Get this shit. <laughs> and you do that shit and you keep it fucking moving. Nobody 
It's in, nobody gets out. That's it. You keep it motherfucking moving. Because when you get out, woo, man, you gotta have an exit strategy. That shit is nerve wracking. Oh, man, especially if you got somebody nervous on the block trying to sell you weed. That's the most nervous. Oh, my God. I remember buying weed from new motherfuckers on the block. I used to be like, yo, man, you gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Talking to me all quick. What you want? What you want? I was like, give me 10. What the fuck are you doing, man? I was like, just give me 10. I said, right. Yeah, put his left hand out. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? This is the most unnatural shit on the block, yo. Yo, I had to hug that nigga to clean it up. I was like this. I was like, oh, come here, man. Come on, hey, man. Do better, man. Do better. Do better. Alright. What the fuck are you doing? It's nerve wracking. Now you just come to the weed, man. It's great. Yeah, you cool out, you smoke a little bit in the play area. Got a dog that talks about opening the doors. This is great. This is porno furniture. You know what porno furniture is like. <laughs> this shit would look like tongues. If you was on mushrooms, this shit would look like tongues. Like this shit would look like a straight mouth. Like, like mushrooms? Word? You know what I mean? Watch that shit. Yeah. Let me get the pictures from that trip. You would look, this shit would look like a mouth. If you was on mushrooms, have you ever been on mushrooms? And you would laugh about this shit for two hours until you get a headache. I remember taking mushrooms at night, ate, walked into a McDonald's and couldn't order my fucking nuggets. The fucking yellow on the McDonald's was going like this and shit. I couldn't stop laughing at the shit. I was like, this shit looks like taffy and all, oh my God. The nuggets look like sofa pillows to me on the fucking menu. Oh, it was crazy, man. But that shit looked like tongues in the mouth, man. Hey. All right, you out here? Hey, man, thanks. Hey, thanks for coming, man. All right, cool. This is great. Coming out, hanging out, coming through. Hey man, what's happening, brother? Uh, what's this? Uh, this is comedy. Yeah, open mic, yeah, brother. Night. Yeah, man. You know, you know, yeah, yeah. Stand, man. it's the last one of the year, man. Oh, <laughs> come man. on, come on back through. Yeah. You? Well, maybe next year, brother. Uh, <laughs> this is everybody's route. This is everybody's route, man. Everybody trying. To, huh? Hey, man. That's for real, man. <laughs> Smoke, yeah. Smoke in the morning, have it with your coffee, you yeah, know, your donut. You know what I'm saying? Take it easy a little bit. A little bit of wake and bake. Everybody wondering, like, why are you so easy and mellow in the morning so happy? Because I'm nice and high, man. You know what I mean? It feels good sometimes. Just relax. Cool the fuck out. You know what I'm saying? I don't talk to my neighbors much. They're trying to guess what I do. I don't talk to them. I don't tell them I do comedy. They be looking you up on the internet and shit. <laughs> like I talk to them enough to let them like they'll let me know if somebody's kind of you know trying to get in my my shit, but I don't talk. One of my neighbors got a dog, like not like this dog. I don't think it's as smart as this dog. Look like that, that dog bark all the fucking time. Like you ever got one of those barking fucking dogs? Like when you go outside to smoke at night and you don't know the dog is out there. And they sneak up on you, and then you start barking like you did. That shit make you jump like that, <laughs> motherfucker. That shit. Oh, I'll be mad. As I'm like, go back in that house like this motherfucker. Fuck it up. All right, buddy. All right, my girls. Okay. Y'all gotta get me up in the woods. Now, yeah. like, you gotta come through, man. <laughs> yeah. We gotta take a dude real quick, leave. <laughs> <laughs> You know what's funny I learned in life? Because the older you get, the more places you will shit. Facts. You know what I mean? That's real shit. Because when I was younger, I was like, I ain't going to do it with that. Now, 45? Shit, what now? What about me? I got to go. 
You know what I mean? Those are new. That's another. That's a milestone right there. As you keep going, there's all these milestones. There's no, there's no boundaries now. It's like, I don't know when that matters. I'm going to be a You certain things just stomach be bubbly? Like, man, fuck that. I'm not 23. I'm not going to run in the bushes. What the fuck am I going to run in the bushes? He was 19. He was doing shit like that. You can't be doing that. Ain't no excuse for getting caught in the bushes when you're 40-something years old. You shouldn't be in the bushes. What are you in the bushes? <laughs> seven. Seven left right there. You shouldn't be in the bushes. Talk about it. wait a minute, wait a minute. Shield me, shield me, hold the coat, hold the coat. Shoot. I can sit up this Wawa every morning. Every morning, you see, I have my coffee ready at the counter. I'm like, all right, bro, I'm good. He's like, all right. Come to the counter, have my coffee. Like, here you go, man. Thank you, man. Ah, oh, man. This is great. Good way. You ever been to the islands? Like, I've been to Bermuda, and I've never been so disappointed in their fucking weed. Like, certain islands got some bullshit fucking weed. You know what I mean? Bermuda is one of them. They kept giving me, like, crabgrass all fucking day. They made about $7 off me. I was mad as fuck. <laughs> Smoked like an ounce on the beach and couldn't figure nothing out. I was like, what the fuck? Is it the sun? Is the sun taking the high from me? Like, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, we're gonna smoke back at the hotel. This is bullshit. We're going to us up on this beach. <laughs> but it's funny how you can travel anywhere in the world and always run into some weed, man. Mm-hmm. Right? Everywhere I've ever been, you know, especially in the States, wherever you go, you can always run into some weed. It's, it's, always, somebody, it's always inviting itself into your life. You know what I mean? Like, you can just be walking down the AC all the You want to smoke? Like, what? You got weed? Yeah, I got that. Damn, look at the fuck. <laughs> you know, you ran in Texas, I was out in the Midwest, I don't know what the fuck to do. Dude's out there drinking, all of a sudden he's like, hey, you smoke? Yeah, like, hey, you smoke? Yeah, you go to Texas? Yeah, I'm no, from but you, here. Did you live in Texas? Then I moved back. See? They smoking out there. Anyways. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, Anybody ever grow any plants? No? You grew a plant before? How how big how much did you yield from your plant? Nothing. Nothing. Just, it, it just looked nice. It didn't buzz. You know, it was no, like, no buzz. Just just looked good. Just I got like nervous because it was behind my job and it smelled really really strong. Oh god damn! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. You know, I oh, shit. It was like kind of by accident. He's like, I didn't think this was going. I didn't think it was going grow. Small book is seven feet tall. It should look like a jungle back here. I did that once. I grew a plant and I actually got some bud from that shit. And it was good. It was good as hell. It was actually good. I was surprised as fuck. I don't know what kind of dirt this shit was. It was in a house I just moved to.